colleges in northeastern Ontario are shutting down some programs because, well, the jobs just aren't there anymore. Well, Sioux College has discovered a market that some would say, unfortunately, always needs people. War, violence, and conflict have always been around, and there's an increased demand for people who know how to deal with them. Trish Galesic knows all about this. She helped create something called the Peace and Conflict Diploma Program at Sioux College, and she's a teacher there as well. The first graduates are leaving the program this May, and uh, Ms. Galesic, Trish, is on the phone right now. Hi, Trish. Hi there. Thanks for taking my call. I'm curious to hear about this. Yeah, it's great to talk to you about it. So what do students in a program about peace and conflict actually kind of learn about? Uh, well, you know, we take a really intentionally uh, holistic approach to, to peace studies. Um, and so the students come away with uh, some knowledge and skills in a broad range of themes which touch upon things like uh, conflict resolution and transformation, uh, strategies for nonviolent action, uh, promotion, promoting social justice and human rights, uh, working, with, uh, working to promote environmental sustainability and community development, Hmm. Um, cultivating personal wellness. It really touches on um, so many diverse elements because peace is so much more than uh, just the absence of war or obvious forms of direct violence. It's, uh, it's about mitigating those things but also promoting, uh, promoting the positive elements that do exist in our society. Sometimes they're harder to see. But they yeah, I guess too. they would be hard to see in some cases. Uh, how in the world did you get to help uh, create this program? What, what was it that motivated you? Uh, well, I finished my master's uh, at a United Nations mandated university for peace in Costa Rica, and my master's was in peace education. So I, I always believe um, that education can be a really powerful tool uh, for cultivating and promoting positive change. And, uh, and it was just kind of one of those things where, where the timing and circumstance just worked out. Hmm. Uh, the college at the time was uh, considering some new innovative program ideas. And uh, my colleague, Vincent D'Agostino, who I co-created the program with, uh, had the idea originally for a course, um, whether it was a nonviolence or the philosophy of peace, something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, that kind of turned into the idea to create this two-year diploma program. And uh, I was returning back to the Sioux. I'm from the Sioux. And uh, it was just uh, kind of the right time, right place at the right time, I guess. Hmm. So why do you think it's important to to teach students about uh, peace i mean shouldn't they already understand what in the world peace is well i mean i think when you ask uh, a lot of people what is what is peace it's it's most commonly defined as what peace isn't <laughs> and so uh, i guess we all kind of have a a general idea of what peace isn't being war and violence but it's kind of harder to pin down okay well how do we how do we cultivate peace what is that and so um, I think there's a real hunger and desire uh, among young people, but not just young people. The students in our program uh, range from 19 to 60 years old. I think, I think a lot of people are really dissatisfied <laughs> with uh, the state of global affairs and, and the way things are going. And, and they really want an outlet and need an outlet to, to work with others uh, to develop some skills and capacities for engaging in this world more constructively and to create the change that they'd like to see. Was this the first time that the course was offered? Um, it's the first program of its kind in Ontario. Uh, there are other uh, existing programs in Canada, not many. It's a relatively new area of study in general, but there are existing programs out there. And, and um, do you get the sense, Trish, that, that other um, colleges or other universities or other academics are kind of watching what it is that you're doing? Um, I like to think so. <laughs> I think what we're doing is, is really exciting. And, uh, and, you know, our program is just two years old, but um, uh, in that two years we have been able to generate uh, a lot of interest and support from the Algoma District uh, and beyond that. So I think, I think the buzz is out there. And, you know, it's not, uh, it's not this brand new thing, but it certainly is um, something that's new for the Algoma District um, and Ontario ish <laughs> there's other related programs but uh no diploma programs that are really intentional with focusing on peace and conflict studies so these students have their diplomas in hand now what what can they do after this have you, have you got a sense of where any of them are going or might go um you know it's it's one of the cool things about the program is that 
Uh, it, the program itself incorporates so many diverse themes, and our students are just as diverse. And so uh, their interests range from political activism to environmental protection to human rights advocacy uh, to youth rights promotion uh, to law, working in Aboriginal communities. And so, uh, you know, the idea is that they're kind of seeds for peace and that uh, our hope for them when they graduate is that they pursue their passions, whatever that may be, but that they're able to integrate um, this peace perspective uh, and this value system in, in a way of critically thinking and engaging uh, in whatever community they're in to be able to to affect positive change, whatever that might look like. Mm, uh, yeah, that, that's a good way of putting it, whatever that might look like. So are you going to do it again next year? I hope so. <laughs> the program, uh, you know, we're really excited to have our graduates and and we're certainly getting excited for for our third year. So, so for sure, I, I think we'll uh, we'll be around to come, and it's great to get a lot more buzz and support out there because the students have done some really really amazing projects. Well, congratulations! It sounds like uh, you should be putting a feather in your hat. <laughs> well, thanks. It's been great talking with you. Nice to speak with you. All right. That's uh, Trish Galesic. Uh, she is with the faculty at Sioux College in Sault Ste. Marie. This is.